Hi everyone. Uh, today we're going to learn a new objective. We're going to learn that we can add the area of rectangles to figure out the total area of a figure. We're going to start by looking at this figure right here. As you can see, this is a rectangular shaped figure that's made up of two different rectangles. When that happens, it can be difficult to figure out um, what the area of the object is. So what you could do is you can separate the two rectangles and act as if you have two different rectangles. Find the area of each and then add them back together. So we're going to use the formula that we know, which is area equals length times width. We're going to say that the length of the first rectangle here is 5, and the width is 6. So using our formula, we would say 5 times 6 equals 30. So we know that this rectangle here is 30 let's say centimeters squared, okay? So now we're done with our first rectangle. Now we can move on to this rectangle right here. So for this rectangle, we're going to say that the length is 10 and the width is five centimeters, both are centimeters, okay? So then using the same formula, area equals length times width, we can multiply 10 for length times 5 for width equals 10 times 5 is 50 centimeters squared. Okay, good. Now remember, we want to put these rectangles, oh, my whole thing moved there. We want to put these rectangles back together. So in order to do that, all we need to do is add together the area of the first rectangle and the area of the second rectangle and we will see that the area equals 80 centimeters squared. So now we know that's the total area of both rectangles combined. Now let's look at another example. I made this figure on the geoboard. As you can see it is a rectangular figure and, um, but it's not a perfect rectangle because of this space right here. So I'm going to do exactly what I just told you before. I am going to separate these two rectangles and act as if they're different sizes or different shapes that I need to find the area for and then add those two areas back together. So f first I need to remind myself of my formula. Area equals length times width. So I'm going to count up the length of my first shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so this one is the length of my first shape is nine times one, two, three, four times four. Okay, and I know that nine times four equals 30, 36, there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna look at my next shape over here. I'm gonna count my length, one, two, three, four, five, times my width, whoops, area equals, times my width, which is right here, one, two, three, four, five, oh, it's a perfect square, five, five times five, 25. Okay, so now I'm going to put my shape back together because I remember I'm trying to find the total area of all of this, all right? And then I need to add up 36 plus 25, six plus five equals 11. 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 1 is 6, 
So the total area of that shape over there is 61 units squared. So now you know what to do when you come to a shape that has two rectangular figures pushed together. All you do is you need to set, find the area of each rectangle, add it together, and you have the total area of the figure.